I am Zach Marshall, personal trainer at Prairie Stone Sports and Wellness Center. As a personal trainer, I often am asked the question, what do you think about The Biggest Loser Show? I'm going to share with you a few of my thoughts about The Biggest Loser Show. It's been going on for about 15 seasons now, I believe, and has millions of viewers across the world. And what I would say about The Biggest Loser is, first off, it's very inspiring to a lot of people. And I think that people should use that inspiration to get out and be more active and to improve their health and their nutrition. What I'd also say about The Biggest Loser is there are certain things that the viewer is not aware of. And I want to talk about some of those things. One of those things is the importance of nutrition in comparison to exercise. Now the show will show viewers mostly these grueling workouts that the contestants are doing. The majority of the show is full of these workouts. Now the reality is that research shows that diet has about four times more effectiveness in helping people lose weight than exercise does. And that's something that's often surprising to people. Another thing that's really important to consider with The Biggest Loser is that it's vital to slowly progress the intensity of your exercise program. And viewers are not shown the progressions that the contestants on The Biggest Loser are often doing. For example, it's not wise to go out on day one and do a mile long foot race, running, jogging, etc. It's better to start off slowly with walking, increase the intensity of walking over time, and then slowly get into jogging if that's something that's appropriate for your fitness level. Another thing that's important to consider is that the show does not show you some of the drastic weight loss measures that contestants are taking. For example, dehydrating before weigh-ins or starving themselves. What's important to do is maintain a nutrition and exercise program that's sustainable over the long term. It's actually much easier to lose weight than it is to maintain that weight loss over time. So some of the contestants on The Biggest Loser do regain back a lot of their weight. And I would argue that probably a certain amount of that is due to the fact that they're not often learning behaviors that are sustainable over the long term. And each of us has to figure out what is sustainable in terms of exercise and nutrition. So those are a few of my thoughts about The Biggest Loser. Hope you watch the show with a critical mind. I hope you're inspired by it, but you also remember some of these insights that I've given you today.